Um, what is your top three reasons uh, Muhammad is not a prophet? Only top three. My top three <laughs> is, um, forgive me Muslims for saying this, I love you to bits, I'll do anything for you. But I really believe, and I believe this, the more I look into it, I was just reading this morning that he, uh, he could have more women than his other fellow men. So what that tells me is that everything, the Quran was engineered to meet his sexual, financial, to meet his needs really. And, and so I, I, I'm not impressed with Muhammad whatsoever, to be honest. So I would, I, I just think, but the most shocking thing to me, second one, and I think, in fact, it's the most shocking, is I read a hadith today, this morning, where he, he hated the cross. He, 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 would, he, he would run away from the cross. Yeah. And, and uh, for me, that's, that's a number one, that he's not a true prophet because... He is he, satanic because he's against the gospel. He's against Paul said, "Cursed is anyone in Galatians chapter one. Cursed is anyone who preaches not the gospel. Curse, and he, you know he's rejecting the gospel. And then thirdly, um, I think uh, the Quran. The Quran. I've I've read the Quran." I've been reading the Bible for 30 years, I never get bored of it. I've read novels and plays of great writers, Dickens and Tolstoy, but when I read the Bible, I can't outgrow it. it, it it's new every day. It, it, it blesses you every day, it feeds your soul. But when I read the Quran, it, its style is no good. It's, it's chopped up, the stories are no good. It's borrowed from the Bible everywhere and other, other uh, Jewish sources, apocryphal sources. It, it just borrowed from all different sources and, and, and the Quran is, is in no way the Word of God. It's absolutely no way the Word of God. So, so that's why I'm not a Muslim and why I don't think Muhammad's a, a prophet. Okay.